Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janot Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm gonna cover the huge YouTuber, Linus Tech Tips, who got hit with a malware. Re reportedly, it was a fake sponsor hidden in a what can be known as a phishing email. So in this video, I'm gonna cover not only what a phishing email is, but how you can avoid being hacked the same way Linus Tech Tips did. So I have some tips for you. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So what is a phishing email? So are you sure that email from UPS is actually from UPS or Costco? Best Buy? People get unsolicited emails every single day. Companies and individuals are often targeted by cyber criminals via emails designed to look like they came from a legitimate bank, government agency, or organization. In Linus, uh, situation it was a fake sponsored ad right in these emails the sender asks recipients to click on a link that takes them to a page where they will be um confirmed personal data account information etc so that is what a phishing email is now i'm going to go over ways that you need to know so you can avoid being fished the same way linus tech tips did okay so it's about seven of them let's get right into it Number one, legit companies don't request your sensitive information via email. Chances are, if you receive an unsolicited email from an institution that provides a link or attachments and, um, sorry, and ask you to provide sensitive information, it's a scam. Most companies will not send you an email asking for passwords, credit card information, credit scores, or tax numbers, nor will they send you a link from which you need a login. Number two, legit companies usually call you by your name. Phishing emails typically use generic um, salutations such as dear valued member, dear account holder, or dear customer. If a company you deal with required information about your account, the email would call you by name and probably direct you to contact them via phone. But some hackers simply avoid the salutation altogether. This is especially common with advertisements. The phishing email below is an excellent example. Everything in it is nearly perfect. So how would you spot it as potentially malicious? Number three, legit companies have domain emails. <laughs> Don't just check the name of the person sending you the email. Check their email address by hovering your mouse over the from address. Make sure no alterations like additional numbers or letters have been made. Check out the difference between these two email addresses as an example of altered emails, the Michelle at paypal.com and Michelle at paypal23.com. Just remember, this isn't a foolproof method. Sometimes companies make use of these unique or varied domains to send emails and some smaller companies use third party email providers. Number four, legit companies know how to spell possibly the easiest way to, um, to recognize a scammy email is bad grammar. An email from a legitimate organization should be well written. Here's a little known fact. There's actually a purpose behind bad syntax. Hackers generally aren't stupid. They prey on the uneducated, believing them to be less observant and thus easier targets. Number five, legit companies don't force you to their website. Sometimes phishing emails are coded entirely as a hyperlink. Therefore, clicking accidentally or deliberately anywhere in the email will open a fake web page or download spam onto your computer. Number six, legit companies don't send unsolicited, unsolicited attachments. Unsolicited emails that contain attachments reek of hackers. Typically, authentic institutions don't randomly send you emails with attachments, but instead direct you to download documents or files on their own website. I want to make this clear, like the tips above, this method isn't foolproof. Sometimes companies that already have your email will send you information, such as a white paper that may require a download. In that case, be on the lookout for high-risk attachment files that include .exe, 
.scr and .zip. When in doubt, contact the company directly using contact information obtained on their actual website. Number seven, legit company links match legitimate URLs. Just because a link says it's going to send you to one place doesn't mean it's going to. Double check URLs. If the link in the text isn't identical to the URL displayed as the cursor hovers over the link, that's a sure sign you will be taken to a site you don't want to visit. That's weird. If a hyperlinks URL doesn't seem correct or doesn't match the context of the email, do not trust it. Ensure additional security by hovering your mouse over the embedded links without clicking and ensure the link begins with HTTPS. So those are some tips. Do you have better tips? Is there tips I left out? I want to know your opinion. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.